Imagine guys, you are someone who has just started trading and started to get a hang of this world of stock markets and suddenly on one fine day, boom, the stock market world comes to a halt. Yes, a complete halt for a brief period. But wait, before you panic, let me introduce you to circuit breakers, the emergency breaks of the stock market world. And this is the topic for the day today. Here we will discuss all about circuit breakers, what they are, how they operate and much, much more. Hi all, my name is Dheeraj Vaidhi from wallstreetmojo.com, the home for most authentic place to learn finance and accounting. Let's get started. Okay, so let's begin by knowing what actually are circuit breakers. So you can call a circuit breaker a type of automatic regulatory mechanism in the stock markets. It temporarily stops the trading in the stock exchange depending on certain predetermined conditions in order to prevent you know, panic selling, buying or a free fall in the stock market. So the next question you may be thinking of could be that why circuit breakers are even triggered or why stop the stock market for a brief period. So you know these circuit breakers are usually triggered when there are chances of speculative activities you know leading to excessive gains or losses in the market which generally occurs basically in two scenarios. The first is when a stock or a bond value actually goes below a predetermined level. So uh, there is a glaring possibility of something called as panic selling or it's the other way around where the value of stock and the bond, you know, maybe, you know, it can go way beyond a predetermined threshold, which could then throw up a possibility of manic buying. So basically the whole idea behind this is to allow the traders to catch a breath, analyze the latest trends and reassess their trading strategies. Speaking of the strategies, Let's look at whether there is a working strategy or a mechanism behind circuit breakers or if it's just a random thing that pops up once in a while. So let's understand how circuit breakers work. Simply put, circuit breakers actually play a role of an emergency break and kicks in to stop the trading when the stock index gets overloaded. Let me explain to you what this actually means. So since 2013, the US Security and Exchange Commission has introduced three market level circuit breakers that respond to certain S&P 500 parameters. The first one is the level one circuit breaker, which is basically triggered when the stock index falls by 7% from its previous close, but it should be before 3.25 PM on that trading day. In this case, the trading is halted for 15 minutes. Next comes the level two circuit breaker, which again kicks in when the index actually falls by 13% from its previous close, again before 3.25 PM. And here too again, the trading gets halted for 15 minutes. And finally, there's this level three circuit breaker that gets enforced when the index drops by 20%. However, the circuit breaker can be triggered at any point in time. And once that kicks in, the trading gets halted for the entire day here. However, unlike the market wide circuit breakers, which are based on this S&P 500 index, the individual stocks also have their circuit breakers, which are triggered only when you know their prices go either too high or too low. So it seems like an organized mechanism now, doesn't it? Now this organized working mechanism of circuit breakers, you know, it comes with certain advantages. Let's look at them. So, you know, these circuit breakers in general provide these traders an opportunity to reflect on their trading strategies. Another advantage is that they can plan their future investments and resist any kind of, you know, panic selling or buying as the markets cool down. Critics do have their say on circuit breakers and what they feel is that a circuit breaker prevents traders from discovering a real time pricing as it halts the free flow of real time or live pricing movements. What this essentially means is that if the markets were allowed to run, let's say without any stoppages, then it would have naturally settled at some point in time. 
Now, a common question that some of you may ask is, do options market also comes to a halt when circuit breakers actually kicks in? So the answer to the question is yes. And you know, any trade that takes place in the options market after the circuit breakers are triggered, you know, comes to a total temporary stoppage. Okay, guys, finally, as we often do, let's end this video with a classic circuit breaker example that took place in the real world. Do you know that on 9th of March 2020, the New York Stock Exchange halted the trading for 15 minutes because of the level 1 circuit breaker basically caused by 7% drop in the S&P index? Yeah, many experts actually say that when things seem to be falling apart, the circuit breakers stepped in and saved the day. Sounds like a classic Hollywood movie where the hero actually just steps in at the right moment and saves the day. I hope you found this video to be useful. Please do like and share. And if you have any feedback or want to suggest a topic for any future videos, then you may do so by writing about it in the comments section. Also, you know, we come up with interesting videos on finance and accounting topics regularly. So if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, then please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you can get the notifications as soon as we release the latest videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.